Welcome to an introduction for a putative model on tooth enamel crystal elongation. During tooth development, amelioblasts secrete amelogenins. Amelogenins assemble and form nanospheres. The nanospheres can bind to the hydroxyapatite crystal surface. Enamel crystals grow in amelogenin protein matrix. The amelogenin nanospheres have charged surfaces resulting from their C termini. Between the nanospheres and hydroxyapatite crystal surface, the charged molecules form a highly charged space which can attract calcium and phosphite ions. The movement of calcium and phosphate ions will form a supersaturated local environment. The supersaturated condition includes crystal growth. After the newly formed crystals fill up the space between the crystal and nanospheres, further crystal growth will be inhibited. Interactions between amelogenin and the crystal surface change the conformation of amelogenin and increases its susceptibility to proteinases. MMP20 enamelicin will selectively degrade the protein bound on the crystal surface, release the inhibition of amelogenin, and creates the space needed for crystal growth. The crystal will interact with another layer of the amelogenin and change their structure to start another cycle of growth. Protein binding, crystal growth, and enzymatic removal cycles will be needed for continuous and dynamic crystal growth. The amelogenins absorbed on the HK0 plane have different interactions with the crystal surface. The enzymatic degradation by either MMP20 or calocrine 4 on the HK0 face will be slower. Therefore, the crystal growth on the HK0 plane will be slower than that on the 001 face. Using this cycle, the enamel crystals will grow in along the axis and form the unique, thin, and long shape in enamel. Thank you.